Good day gamers, Purple Mentat here with another vlog. I've got a lot to update you on, so I will do my best to get through it quickly. Behind me, or at least on the screen, you can see me starting a Civilization 5 game, in which I am playing Ethiopia going for a science victory on the King difficulty with a standard continents map. Now, this is something that I've had a couple of people request me do a Let's Play on after my two-day live stream in which I did an Ethiopia culture victory. If you would like to see me let, uh, Let's Play Civilization V, let me know in the comments below. So, first off, I want to get into what's going on with Patreon. We're at another month. In about a week, the whitelist is going to reset based on who has is currently up to date on payment. And... Uh, or at least the server whitelist. And most importantly, I have altered the reward tiers for Patreon and changed around the goals. Now, the reward tiers have had a very small alteration. You should be able to go through and fix up wherever you're at without really any differences. The major difference is I have entirely removed the individual hangout portion, and I am setting it instead to be a um, tier where you have access to the streaming room of the chat at all times. So you'll be able to come in basically anytime that I'm live streaming and join in on the conversation for the $30 tier instead of the current goal, which was to try to set up some individual hangouts. Those never happened and it's been a couple of months. I feel kind of bad about that. I'd still would like to get to that. You three who have that option know who you are. Let's get something set up sometime. But timing and scheduling is more and more of an issue for me all the time, especially since I don't know on any given day if I'm going to feel up to streaming or if I'm just going to be a massive depressed mess and, you know, hide under the blankets all day. It's not good. Anyway, moving on. There's a couple of new goals added to the Patreon, which I'm actually pretty excited about. Some fun stuff that I thought up that I thought would be good for everybody. After the equipment upgrades, I have added onto things... Well, after the equipment upgrades, the laundry and the cleaning service, because those are still very important to me, I've added in some new goals of attending a couple of different conventions. PAX East, PAX Prime, and VidCon, not necessarily in that order, are conventions that would be very useful for me professionally and also would be a fantastic opportunity to meet you guys. I would love to be able to get out to these. That's part of my Patreon goals, and it's something that I consider in the distant future. I'm very excited about where the Patreon has gone in the months that we've gone through. I mean, my very first month, people pledged $500, and in the second, it was $746. And then in this month, in August, $920 has been pledged by the patrons. I am... Super pleased. Thank you so much. I'm excited that a hundred people are choosing to take a dollar or more out of their own wallet and help pay my salary with it. It's very, very... I don't know the right word for it. I feel this amazing sensation inside that I can't quite describe, but it's awesome. Thank you guys for being awesome. So, let's keep talking about what monetization options have been enabled and where you guys can help support me if you choose. A lot of you have commented that you're not very comfortable with Patreon being a monthly subscription. You wanted something that was a little more immediate? Well, now there are two options set up for that, which is fantastic. YouTube's support has a way for you to tip the creators directly through YouTube using Google Wallet. You can find that on my channel page in the upper right hand corner or in most videos in the upper left hand corner. And I'll try to make it pop up right now if I remember to do that after post production and all that. And I'll include a link to that in, uh, in the down below. It's a pretty awesome program. Most of the money goes directly to me minus a very tiny fee that YouTube charges. And a few of you have already taken advantage of that. Thank you very much. Moving forward, I am going to open up the server whitelist to anyone that donates by YouTube. However, the server whitelist will continue to reset on the 8th of every month. That will not change. So, if you donate, you will be reset on the 8th. If you donate on the 21st, you will be reset on the 8th. 
if you donate on the 6th or 7th, I'll probably roll it over, but no guarantees. So if you're donating purely to get on the server, remember that you're paying to play until the 8th of the next month. Or the current month if you donate, for example, today. Though I'll do my best to try to roll over anything that comes in at the beginning of the month until the month after that. But that's a level of administration and stuff that I don't really want to have to do. My goal is to create more videos and have a good time showing you guys these games. Now, the other option that's available, and there will be a link in the down below, is StreamTip. I'm reopening StreamTip for the whitelist to help out. I've got everything set up. The re one of the reasons I closed it down was my personal information was being displayed to everyone that joined in on the stream tip. I have since changed my PayPal account over to a business account, which it should have been in the first place. So now you can send in your stream tips and if you desire to, you can get access to the Minecraft server until the 8th of the next month. Same rules apply as on the YouTube support. The way this is going to be handled, in your comment, either on stream tip or on the YouTube support, you're going to need to leave your email address and your in-game username. I'm going to pass those names along to the server admins who are currently volunteering to help keep things running, and they're going to handle the rest. If you don't include your email and you don't include your uh, in-game name when you leave the tip, too bad. I, I can't chase those people down. Um, I just don't have enough time in my day. I'm sorry. This is an extra, a bonus perk for the people that donate to me and make my life easier. But if you're going to make my life harder, then it, I'm just not going to meet you halfway on that, you know? I will work with you to a degree if you send in a tip I, and there's no comment on it. I'm very likely to message you and be like, hey, if you wanted server info, uh, access, you needed to leave your email address and your in-game name. But I will not respond to any messages sent to me on Patreon by email through YouTube saying, hey, I donated, where's my server support access? It's all going to be handled through private messaging and you need to tell me what your information is when you donate. Them's the rules. It's just how it's going to go. All right, moving on. Speaking of the server, two bits of information. Most of you know, we have changed to the UHS pack, Ultra Hard Survival, on the AT launcher by, I believe, Wild? Except we are playing without the gases mods, and we're going to maintain using this pack until 1.7.1 Feed the Beast stable packs are available. My experiences with non-Feed the Beast packs have been less than exemplary, and I have no desire to continue these. I know that I'll catch flack for this. I don't care. So... The reason for this is that the Feed the Beast packs tend to be designed with an eye towards being able to easily set up a large server. All of the other packs that I have attempted to try have been serious issues getting a server set up. Vivo's had issues because it was early 1.7.1. UHS has had issues because of some of the mods chosen. It's really meant to be a single player hardcore pack. And... Some of the other packs that I've tried, like Resonant Rise, like Galacticraft, or is it Galacticraft? I think that's the mod. Maybe it's Beyond Dim Beyond Dimensions something? Anyway, I can't remember the name of it right now. Bottom line is that it was not well designed for server play because it was heavy on the extra dimensions and on the very CPU heavy, very chunk loading heavy mods. And what I'm finding is most of the packs outside of FTB seem to have that design philosophy, which is kind of anathema for large server. And we have a large Pretty server. Good. There are, I believe, 80 or 90 people that are going to be on the whitelist, plus any extras that jump in through stream, stream tip or YouTube support. Yeah, we cannot afford to have a pack that is not going to be somewhat easy on the server and even then we've needed to get extra tools to kind of keep things limping along there's a plugin called clearlag that has been essential to continuing the server and allowing it to function without dying and we've had to work with more than one person who has built something that just destroys the server and ask them hey could you just fix this because it ain't working now speaking again of the server everybody 
give a very warm thank you to Safrim and Glitch Monkey for basically tanking point on the server technical issues, setting up UHS, setting up all of the extras, set, uh, keeping everything running. I've had to do very little work, and that is amazing. That allows me to enjoy playing on the server and allows me to have a lot more fun with it. Getting everything started at the beginning of August, that was a week of, well, I can't use language strong enough on this channel to describe what that week was like for me, so we will never speak of it again. In short, Safram and Glitch Monkey have been a lifesaver. They are the go-to for the server, and Safram has asked me to share his email with anyone that ends up joining on the server, so I'm going to be going through him for most of the whitelisting and communication and such. So, thank you very much, Safram. Thank you very much, Glitch Monkey, for making this happen. Now, other Patreon things. Last month, in August, I was a little bit lax on getting the monthly hangout set up, and it ended up happening in the very last s Saturday. I had planned on it happening there, but I never made a proper announcement of when it was going to happen to the masses. So... It ended up being a little low population, but we had a really good time playing some Lethal League, which is a fantastically fun game. This Saturday, I mean this month, I am targeting the 20th, nine, Saturday 9.20, from noon Eastern until 3 Eastern, will be the Patreon Hangout. I am putting it in my calendar as we speak. I will not schedule anything over this, and it will be a good day for me because I have nothing going on that Sunday. It'll be a great weekend. Everything should be fine. So, mark that date. Saturday, 9.20, noon to 3 Eastern. That will be the next Patreon Hangout live stream. And anyone of the $20 or above tier will have the opportunity to join me in whatever crazy wacky multiplayer hijinks I'm getting up to that day. Okay, I think that covers all of the Patreon and such news. Um... Next on the agenda, streaming. So I'm finding that live streaming is eating into my video production schedule. I've been keeping the live stream schedule and falling behind on videos. I am no longer pleased with this situation. As such, I am asking you guys what you want. In the down below, you will find a link to a survey where I request information about how often you'd like to see me live stream, what days you'd like to see me live stream, and what time schedule works better for you during the day for me to live stream. Also, there will be a comment form on that. I will read all of your comments. I will not necessarily respond to them because if everybody answers, I will have 10,000, 11,200 comments. So please go to the down below, go to the survey, survey monkey, poke the monkey until he notes down your survey results and takes them, runs over screeching to me and bashes me on the head with the survey and then flings poo. That'll be good, because then I'll have your information, and I'll know what to do going forward. If you guys enjoy the live streams more than the videos, then I'm perfectly happy to continue live streaming more. I'm getting the support that I need on Patreon to have a good, proper... Um, ooh, right, bad, th bad stuff happening on the game. Uh, I have the support that I need coming in through Patreon to have a decent salary even if I pursue live streaming as my primary and YouTube as the secondary. So let me know, you guys, what you would like to see more of, live streams or videos. Okay. I think that covers most of the channel news. Oh, uh, one other thing moving forward about live streaming. Um, so I am discovering that when I live stream Minecraft, there is an awful lot of backseat gaming happening. So, moving forward, I'm not going to stop streaming Minecraft, but I've instructed the moderators to be significantly more ruthless about stopping people from backseat gaming. This means that if you come in there with the intention of telling me, hey, Purple Mentat, you're doing it wrong, do this, 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 and this, you are going to be very quickly, uh, you're going to very quickly find yourself on the ban list of the channel. Don't do it. I'm announcing this here, I announced it on the live stream earlier, and I will announce it again on the live stream tomorrow, but just... Don't do it. Everybody will be happier that way. Speaking of channel news, I have something special coming in 
in the near future. I didn't get the game auditions done last month the way I wanted to, in part because I was launching the server and in part because the streaming was taking too much time. So I'm planning on kind of doubling up on those in September. Also, we're coming into the holiday season. Lots of new releases are going to be pouring out. I want to get through the game auditions on as many of them as possible. It seems like the iron is hot to... Uh, it, the time to strike is now, the iron is hot, whatever, whatever, metaphor, cliche, so that I can start getting into the uh, some first impressions content, which I've been excited to do because I've discovered that, at least with my friends, one of my absolute favorite things to do is share a game and show them this awesome new thing that I've found. I would like to be able to do more of that with you guys, too. So, you can expect game auditions to come back. Uh, I want Test Chamber to come back. I've been plugging away at a video on that for a while. My main goal right now, though, is to keep Saludos. the running red and the crash landing rolling. I want to get those things finished this month, if not before that, and start uh, in on other Minecraft projects because I'm pretty sure sometime this month, the 1.7.10 mod packs are going to start releasing in, in uh, strength. I know that we have some on the AT launcher and on the Technic launcher, but the ones that I've seen have not thrilled me. However, if there is a 1.7.10 mod pack out there, other than Mevos, that you would really like to see me play through, please suggest it below and I will go take a look at it. I make no promises and no guarantees on whether I will pursue it or not. Alright, that's all the channel news, folks. If you're only here for the channel news and you have no interest in hearing about my personal life, now's the time to leave. If, however, you would like to hear about what's going on in my personal life, I'm about to start in on that. I'll give you about another 10 seconds. Okay, if you're still here, then, well, it's your own fault. So, things are going pretty well for my personal life. I'm feeling a lot better, I'm feeling a lot happier, things are good. I recently had a really nasty situation happen with a friend of mine, someone who was a very, very close friend. I had to basically tell them, I'm no longer interested in your friendship, you were too much of a drain on my time and energy. And that was rough, but... I'm getting through that, and moving forward, I feel like things are going to be pretty awesome. Because I've pretty much gotten over that at this point. I spent a couple of days really depressed, but I talked about it with people, I moved past it, and this has been a really much better week than the weeks before that, where I was trying to maintain that friendship, and it was just, it was like this black hole of emotion where I could dump all of the energy and commitment and all of that in the world and it was never going to be quite enough. So getting past that is really good for me. Other than that, there's very little news to share on the mental health front. Um, I'm having less bad thoughts, I'm feeling happier, I'm being more productive, and I'm getting more stuff done. Next step along the way is to start getting my personal health into better order because now I'm finding I have the motivation to do that. I've been eating better for a while. If I haven't talked about it before, I'm kind of a big guy. I'm not kind of a big guy. I'm a 3x kind of guy. So yeah, clearly there's a lot of extra weight going on and it's time to get that under control, get myself onto the, probably start with the recumbent bike that's in the fitness center in my apartment complex and then move from there onto <laughs> You know, the treadmills, the weight machines, when my body's up to it. I'm not in terrible physical health in that, well, I'm not in terrible, my level of physical fitness is not too bad. I can walk a couple of miles without, you know, keeling over dead, but, you know, I'm winded and I'd rather not. And, I mean, I'm a physically lazy person by default. I tend to, towards intellectual pursuits or things that engage the mind and the uh, emotional self without necessarily engaging the physical self. I need to kind of break that habit and get with the runner's high kind of thing. So you'll be hearing more about my path to fitness as time goes on. And hopefully by the time I hit that face cam level on Patreon, I'll actually have a face that I feel like showing off to the world. Um... All right, I think that's everything, really. That's all of the big news. That's everything that's going on, both on the channel and in my life. So, this little section will continue for about another 12 minutes and take you just a little bit past turn 60. 
If you're interested in this game and would like to see me do a commentated let's play of it, where I can actually explain everything that's going on in it, let me know in the down below or in your comment card when you send it in through the Survey Monkey. All right, thank you very much for joining me. See you next time. Sir.